and was immediately seized because I encountered a police officer who, because I didn't respond the way that he wanted me to or because I didn't bow down, uh, he retaliated against me, and I was locked up. And that's a huge violation of liberty. That's a huge seizure when all of a sudden you're detained and put in handcuffs and taken to jail to have your day in court. Well, those are a lot of days and nobody should have to suffer that. But something that's been burning on my mind over the last couple of days is that uh, Rosa Parks, there's something going on in America and across the world. And Occupy movements around the world are symbolizing that. And for some reason, we have become the enemy of the state or the government. But they are our enemy, and we are fighting them. And that's what was going on with Rosa Parks. Amen. She sat down, which was really taking a stand about some of the things that were going on. And so we have Mayor Hancock in office because her sitting down kindled the spirit in people in this country. And it seems like Hancock is now in the position of the people that would stop Rosa Parks. <laughs> and this board is his creation. And if he's showing a tendency to stop people from standing up like Rosa Parks by cutting on the sprinklers in the middle of the winter to occupiers, or some of the other things he has done, the arrest that, that, that you've heard enumerated and expressed and seen all over the local news, was really generated to, to our publicity. But you guys are a part of that board, and, and, and there's this huge expenditure. But we don't need to complain to you to hand us over to the uh, Internal Affairs Bureau, <clears throat> who does nothing. And then you come down with these statistics saying, well, this is down. It's not down. It's that people don't believe that anybody's going to do a damn thing.